Hey, welcome to another episode of my Ichimoku strategy series. Today, I'm actually looking at the Kiwi dollar pair because it's been super light on the economic calendar. So we don't have that much movement across the board. Majority of pairs are just consolidating. But we did have one Ichimoku Kinkohyo signal in the Kiwi dollar pair and also on the Kiwi yen, yen pair that I want to take a look at. Uh, I do want to mention that I don't personally trade Forex anymore and I create these strategies for a broker named Tickmill. And I think that technical analysis can be used for any asset. I use it uh, when I invest in stocks and cryptocurrencies and other assets. So just for the purposes of practice, uh, I'm practicing technical analysis and practicing Ichimoku. I'm sharing this video with you. So let me just quickly go and switch and share my screen with you. As you can see, here is the Kiwi dollar pair. First, I actually looked at the Kiwi yen pair and I noticed that it has already broken above the Ichimoku cloud over here, although it has been just consolidating between 69.13 and 69. Eight zero, but at the same time, it did confirm its break above the Ichimoku cloud on November fifteenth, and uh, so it it, it kind of tested above it. Then we had a pullback. Now there is this confirmation. The confirmation is when you can see this candle. The converse, confirmation is when the stock actually opens above the upper band of the cloud. So that was the confirmation. Then, as I've talked about in my Ichimoku Secrets book we see the pullback, right? So we're now waiting for the pullback and that would bring about our optimal buying uh, position because normally after a confirmation above the Ichimoku uh, cloud happens and especially because the future cloud is bullish, uh, we can expect further gains and the next resistance of any uh, point 0.57, this is Kiwi Yen, right? And this kind of aligns with the reason why we're looking at this is because we also have another bullish um, indication over here that is a double bottom that started forming back in August this is a daily chart, right? And it broke above the, uh, the neckline, but it's just been consulting since then. It's a bit of a time has passed, so uh, the momentum is not as hot anymore, but we do have the Ichimoku signal. So uh, the next resistance level for that is 70.37. Then we also, so when these kind of things happen, they go across pairs, right? So the Kiwi dollar pair, it just today, like right now, confirmed above the cloud. Like you can see this is like the a doji candle that is just, you cannot even see it, uh, but it just did. So the momentum again is not there. We don't have as much of a strong, so it did bottom out over here. This could actually be turning into a, a reverse head and shoulder pattern, this being the second shoulder, right? But the neckline remains the same as 0.6427, which also is like above. But this, this confirmation is just, oh my God, it's so little. It literally just happened. We just got into Tuesday's Asian session. But the future cloud on the daily chart is also bullish. I do want to zoom in a little bit and take a look at the four-hour chart as well. And then the four-hour chart, you also see the break above the cloud has happened, but it's just super minor. And it's just bouncing back, back and up. So the problem with this is that we don't have the momentum, we do have the indication. One other thing that is happening on the monthly chart, so we had this, uh, this is a bullish reversal we were calling for back in uh, June, but that is, so as you can see, even on the monthly chart, we have a very longer term uh, double bottom with the potential of forming, but this is like super long term, like the first bottom was formed back in 2015. So we're waiting for this pair to eventually um, find its way back up uh, towards the highs, but it could take a while because the momentum is just not there for us. Again, so thank you so much for joining uh, this episode of Ichimoku Strategies. And uh, remember that trading in the financial markets, especially the forex market, involves a ton of risk of loss. You should only invest and trade the money that you can afford to lose. And for trading, you literally need to trade the money that you can burn in your backyard. Investing is a different story. You should start investing today. But technical analysis is something that I've found to be super powerful. And there are so many people out there who are like, oh, technical analysis doesn't work. It's just the reason why technical analysis works is because 
it's, it's because of market psychology. It's because people are looking at the same exact levels and that's why it works because everybody's doing it, right? It's the same reason why a hundred dollar bill is worth a hundred dollar bill, even though the material is not a hundred dollars is because everybody believe it's a hundred dollar, right? Does that make sense? So that is why, um, when I choose, after I choose an asset to invest, I turn to technical analysis to find the optimal places to buy and the optimal places to sell. If it's trading the Forex market, you can go either directions. If it's stocks, uh, it's basically buying and holding. Uh, so that's what we cover tomorrow is Tuesday. I'm going to have my weekly live, uh, premium investing group or the pig, um, webinar that we're going to talk about so many different assets. I'm going to be, um, actually showcasing a new, one of my new investment portfolios that I'm going to manage for my sister. Uh, she handed me $50,000 after years and years and years of not really believing in what I do. She finally, uh, after seeing the results, like, okay, Kiana, can you uh, invest some money for me? I'm like, okay, cool. So tomorrow, I, tomorrow I'm going to actually be selecting the assets for her. It's going to be mainly stocks and also cryptocurrency. So that's going to be fun. If you're a pig member, make sure to just tune in. It's going to be at 1030 in the morning. We're going to have a replay. If you're not a pig member, well, you got to figure out a way to become a pig member. Uh, oh, enroll, enrollments are not open at the moment for general public. Only people who get into my Make Your Money Work For You Power Course uh, can get into the pig at the moment. Uh, so make sure if you want to get into the pig and see everything that I have to do, definitely go check out my masterclass, uh, making money work for you power a masterclass. I'm going to share a link, um, in this video, uh, in the, in the description area. So check that out. And, uh, I am also going to another household, <laughs> uh, update is I, I'm going to go live actually on Thursday, uh, to do my make your money more work for you masterclass. Uh, it's going to be at 8.45 p.m. So I'm going to share a link to that as well. Uh, I can't wait to see you. Invest responsibly and make sure to make your money work for you. All right, I'll see you again tomorrow.